Yo, what's up guys? Ed Range back again, and I just got my FCON uh, rear 30 millimeter wide body over fenders. Um, I went with 30 millimeter, and I didn't go with Origin Lab because they only have them available in 50 millimeter, and that would not um, fit my wheel setup properly. So yeah, we, I ended up going with the FCON, which is about 30 millimeters, I believe. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I install that, and of course. I won't be doing the welding myself. I'll have my brother come do it because he has a machine and that's what he does for a living. So I'm just gonna have my brother go ahead and weld it up for me. I already cut this side and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna mock up the other side. Mock up the other side and put on the rear quarter panel on the passenger side. So we're gonna go ahead and put that on. Let me go ahead and show you guys the wide body. So here we have them, 30 millimeters wide. Um, there, this is actually a FRP, I believe. Uh, fiberglass reinforced plastic, and it looks pretty thin. It's pretty light. It ended up cracking on both of them from this right here, so I ended up getting a discount on both of them, and they run about like 300 something for the set. I also ended up doing a rear, um, let me show you guys real quick. Oh, actually, this is the wrong one. We'll get back to that shortly. I ended up doing the rear windshield wiper, I mean, the rear antenna delete, um, because of the flares and I did not want to cut into the flare and have that sticking out so I just decided to remove it, it and when I ended up going in there and disconnecting it it actually wasn't um, it wasn't connected either way so there's no use for that so we're gonna go ahead and cut this up I've already like kind of got an outline of where I want how much I want to cut um, what else do I need yeah let's get to it So we are going to go ahead and cut here first. Usually you would cut a little bit lower so that way you get the tack welds off but you're going to see how I do it to where I just cut this off and then this whole piece comes off and the tack welds are here so you're just going to have to pry it off and that will come off with the tack welds. So we're going to go ahead and get started on this and let's start cutting and see how this thing turns out. This is going to suck. Even though I'm cut the other side like just cutting into an rx7 is like cringing like once you do that you, you can never go back i mean you can if you get a rear quarter panel but technically you can but you can't if that makes any sense so let's go ahead and get this started We need to do next is fix these um, over fenders. Let me show you real quick. So this thing is cracked from here. So what I'm gonna do, I got a little bit of aircraft grade um, carbon fiber. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some on a couple of corners so it's sturdier and it won't break as easy. And then go ahead and put some bondo on there and then go ahead and mount this to the vehicle. So. 
keep watching as I go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go mix up the resin and go through add these pieces on there. Alright guys, it's day number three and the carbon reinforcement that I added onto the flares ended up drying up. Let me show you guys. It's solid as a rock and the piece that was broken, as you can see here, I ended up patching that. So now it's like completely reinforced. So next step is sand them down sand down the affected areas and add a little bit of bondo and then smooth that out and go ahead and throw one on and show you guys how I do that okay so just stay tuned and we'll get right to it all right so this is where the antenna hole was I went ahead and added bondo to that area and smoothed it out so now it's gone so I deleted that portion of it so that's good to go. I also added a little bit of bond on that corner and I fixed the one that was cracked here. I know it has like these little tiny, these little tiny like bumps right here, but you won't be able to see that with the wrap over. So that's why I'm leaving that on there. So yeah, this is the one that was like split in half. So I ended up putting the um, carbon Kevlar behind it and Bondo in the front made it look good. Some will look good, I guess. And it's ready to go now. I just gotta spray this. I gotta cut some of this trim right here, and then it's gonna go on the car. It's gonna go on the car once we get those um, side moldings, I guess you could say, welded up. So we're just gonna go ahead and wait for my brother while I paint this and have them weld up that side weld up this side and put some weather stripping on there actually paint it then put some weather stripping on there and put the flares on <laughs> 